Hey guys, back again with another unboxing. Uh, this one is a Tackle Warehouse unboxing. I know I haven't had one in a while. Uh, but with this one, I've actually ordered a couple of lures that are brand new that I've never seen before. I'm not quite sure when they've come out. But uh, anyways, we'll go ahead and get into the box and see. And I'll show you what we got. So first up here, we have the Rapala DT20. I've actually ordered these before. Um, it's starting at summertime, which means we're going to need the uh, deeper lures. And I've had one of these, but I actually wound up losing it on my last fishing trip, and I was so impressed by it that I had ordered some more. So we'll go ahead and get this guy out of here. So what makes this thing so special that I enjoy about it is that, as you can see here, it is a regular size body of like your normal standard, probably square, square bow uh, crankbaits, but it will dive to 20 feet. And the reason it does that is you can see here in the bill, there's a little weight in it here. That's what drives, of course, the length of the bill as well will help it drive down. But that uh, weight that's in the front there helps it get down to that 20 feet. And generally, you know, your your uh, deeper crankbaits have the bigger bodies. So they're really kind of targeted towards bigger fish. But it's not always just bigger fish that are down, you know, that deep. So this smaller profile I really enjoy because you can catch more fish and granted you want to go for quality but you can catch more fish with this smaller profile body and that's why I like this so again that's the Rapala DT20 uh, series I think some of them will cost a little bit more than your standard DT series but I think I actually got these for about the same thing so moving on I ordered also once again for the deeper this is a DT16 so we'll get into it. Of course, the DT means dive to. The DT series for Rapala means dive to. So this is going to dive to 16 feet. Uh, this one, as you can see there, this does not have the weight in the bill. So this one will naturally get to that to the uh, 16 feet. It's about the same size bill. So again, that weight in there is what lets that um, DT20 get down to that extra extra depth. But this one will work for uh, in between. Um, and you're really going to have to throw it on 10 to 12 pound test to really get it down that deep. And uh, I've kind of switched over all my reels to where it will do that so I can kind of get to the desired depth. I, I really prefer uh, the Rapala deep crankbaits because you can kind of feel them a little bit better than you can, say, your Strike Kings or anything like that as far as the, the, the depth of them goes. You can really kind of feel them hitting that bottom. Uh, with the Strike King, you can feel them wobbling, but you can't really feel them actually hitting the bottom. And that's what I like about these. So here, once again, keeping in the same pattern. Uh, and the color that I just showed you and the color we have here is called Ike's Girlfriend. Um, these are the uh, Mike Iaconelli series of colors. You can see there, the Girlfriend. And it's kind of a pink and chartreuse. And the reason I like it is because, of course, it's a real bright color and I fish... I tend to fish um, stained water lakes. So this is a DT-10, so of course it's gonna dive to 10 feet. So it has a smaller bill on there. Still pretty much similar profile. You see there's not much size difference between them. And again, that's what I like about it. If there's any size difference for that matter. I mean, yeah, this one's slightly bigger, but that's what I like about them. Is you get that same smaller profile in a deeper pattern. And again, you don't need a huge bait to catch fish deep. There's, you know, there's regular size fish down there as well. So that's what I like about these. Of course, this is going to be your middle ground 10 foot. Uh, not necessarily all fish are that deep right now in the summer. Here where I am in Texas, uh, Central Texas, the water is running from anywhere from 85 to 90 degrees right now. So they, they're not super shallow, but again, they're not super deep either. So this can help out with that middle ground. Moving on, we have another DT10 series here. This particular color is uh, called Ike Smash. It just says Smash on the back. So we'll open that up and show you. Of course, if I don't drop the thing. So here we have the Ike Smash color. Uh, it's kind of a chartreuse. It's a little bit kind of a bass color on the side here. It goes into a little bit of chartreuse in the middle and then wine at the bottom. Just kind of a plain shad color, so that's why I got it. Again, mid-depth, DT-10. Uh, of course, all the uh, Rapala lures are made of balsa wood, so they have that extra buoyancy in them. 
So they're going to kind of come up a little bit faster than your standard uh, plastic baits. And I do like that about those because they're kind of easier to get as snags. If you're running real deep down there in the trees and you get hung on one, this one's going to float up a lot better than that plastic. So it's, it gives you a little bit better chance of getting these guys back. Okay. So we have one more DT20 here. Uh, this is just your um, old school color, which I believe is the same color as the first one. So again, pretty much the same thing here. Again, you have your weight there in the lip. That's what allows it to get down. Okay. So moving on, we have another deep diving crankbait. And you guys all know, if you watch my videos, I really, really, really like Spro uh, crankbaits. The quality on them is, is just second to none. And as far as the price value go, you go, you really can't beat them. So, uh, this is Spro Little John DD. This dives, as you can see there. 16 to 20 feet once again it is summertime it's hot so that's where those bass are moving so i'm kind of getting lures that'll that will fish in that range and of course we have the bright colors so we have the green on the back here and then the chartreuse on the side and bottom there and of course you have that long bill that'll get it down that far running about 10 to 12 pound test it really depends on your uh not so much the pound of test, but the, oops, but the actual diameter of the line is what allows you to get down there. Some some lines, the diameter for 12 pound test is going to be 0.12, um, whereas a different brand is going to be 0 0.10 or 0 0.11. That smaller diameter is what's going to allow this to go down. So if you find a bait or if you find a line that is um, that the test on it is 12, but the diameter of the line is 0 0.03. And then you find another line that is 0 0.01 or 0 0.10 and it's eight pound test, you're probably gonna wanna get that eight pound test because that's what's gonna allow it to get down further. Uh, the pound test is, is just kind of, you know, I honestly don't know how they measure it, but it's really that diameter is what you need to be going on. So anyways, once again, that's the Spro uh, Little John DD. And again, these are all, they always have the, the sharpest hooks there are. I don't know what hooks they put on, but they're super sticky, super tacky hooks. Okay, moving on here, we have the New Tech Pro Series Jigs. Now, I don't know that everybody's heard about these. They're kind of a really starting to kick off, but um, the, the big thing about these New Tech Jigs is that the way they're designed, they're always supposed to hit and stand up. That's their big uh, kind of selling thing. And we'll see if we can get that to happen here. Supposedly, when these hit bottom, they're made to just stand on the head's end. And yeah, there it is. It's standing up. So let's try and drop it. Yeah, it stood up. Let's drop it backwards. Okay, that time it didn't do it. Let's drop it backwards again. And there it goes. It went and stood back up. So that's the thing about them is that the, their design, the way this particular jig is designed, it's made to just stand up on the bottom. So it gives you that better action when you have your trailer back here and you have this jig standing up instead of a standard jig that let's say just falls over like that when it gets down there. Because you know a lot of strikes come on the fall. But um, yeah, it seems to work. I mean... How many times did I drop it there? Four or five, and four out of five times it fell on its head. And that was even dropping it backwards. And you have your kind of unique weed guards here. There's two separate ones. They're kind of tight. A little tighter than uh than your standard weed guards, but we'll see how that goes. This particular one, I think, is peanut butter and jelly is what I ordered. Now, green, uh, green pumpkin blue is what this is. I might have gotten another one in that color, but I can't re can't recall. But anyways, yeah, this is the uh, New Tech Jigs. That's their thing. They're really neat, and apparently they work, because I just tried them myself. Uh, Stand-up jigs from TackleWarehouse.com. So that's pretty neat. Next up we have, and any bass fisherman worth their salt knows, that the Yellow Magic Poppers work way better than any other popper there is. Uh, why? Who knows? I mean, they're, they're designed almost exactly 
like your standard popper. However, these will these will walk a little bit better than your other poppers. As you can see there, it's a little narrower design. And on the bottom, it doesn't quite, it doesn't come in as much, so it gives you a little bit better walking action on it. Now, uh, these are Japanese made. So you can see here, Japanese design, yellow magic lures, and they are not cheap. Uh, this is a half ounce popper. Uh, this particular one was $16 on TackleWarehouse.com. That being said, uh, they work. Uh, do they work $16 worth of lure? Some people are gonna tell you yes. Yeah. Some people are gonna tell you, well, my Strike King popper that was $6 works just the same. Uh, that being said, I feel like I feel like these are worth the money, so I went ahead and picked one up. Uh, this particular color is Yellow Frog. Uh, again, uh, Dark Lake here. Needed something that's going to stand out on that water, so that's what we got. So, you can see there, it's a Yellow Magic Magnum. I don't know if you can read that on there with that particular color, but yeah. Tackle Warehouse, you can get them. A lot of people uh, seek them out and try and find them. The hooks on them are real nice. Of course, you have your little feathered in here to give something to target in on. So, just a very nice quality bait. Okay. So, moving on here, we have, and these are the new lures that uh, I was getting into. Uh, these are, I guess, the new brand. I've never heard of them before until recently. These are a uh, uh, Boy Duckett Signature Series. Of course, you're familiar with his, uh, rods the ducket series rods and of course he has his own brand of reels too but uh these are a castaic brand and i'm not sure that that's how you pronounce it but uh castaic brand um lures so i wanted to kind of check them out and see what they're all about this particular one is called the bd topwater so we're gonna pull it out of here and just right off the bat i mean it's it's pretty good quality uh, it's pretty good quality lure that I'm seeing here. It's a different shape. This is, of course, supposed to be a pencil bait. Looks like you might get a little popping action out of it as far as the uh, lip on it goes. But yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice little bait. I mean, the paint job could be better, but I mean, these are six, seven dollar baits, so but it's pretty nice. So I kind of wanted to try them out and see what they're about. The hooks, yeah, the hooks are really sharp. I'm kind of surprised for a $7 bait. Oh yeah, wow, that's neat. Uh, the particular, what color is this? I don't recall what color I ordered here. Chrome black. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I could have probably figured that one out. Of course, you have your black on the top and then your chrome on the bottom. So moving on. We have yet another boy ducket bait. This one is a frog. Uh, you guys know I like my spro frogs, but uh, again, I wanted to try these ones out. And of course, I'll be doing separate videos on these. Um, I'm kind of doing a little bit of review and overview of them. But uh, this particular frog is a bluegill, new bluegill. So we'll open it up. Get into it here. Very soft plastic. I'm noticing right off the bat. Hooks are very, very, very sharp. Collapse is really easy there. But yeah, these hooks are very sharp. These are a really good value for these lures. I can tell you that right now. Just for the as sharp as the hooks are and, and the quality of them, it feels nice. I mean, the plastic is a little soft. It might could stand to be a little bit better because I can see this plastic tearing up pretty easy. But yeah, very nice, very nice lure. I'm I'm pretty surprised. I'm kind of impressed with these. You can see there. Tail is probably going to need to be. Well, no, they're pretty well trimmed. That's about what I would trim them to. A lot of them come with longer tails, so I'd probably trim them about right there. So, that's pretty nice. Anyways, moving on. We have yet another Boyd Ducket Lure. This one I ordered. This is a... Um, oh, what is... Oh, it's already come loose. Looks like somebody's already gotten into it. Uh, this is the deep diving lure. This one will dive from 10 to 12 feet. The BD series, again. Boy duck it. So we'll go ahead and pull it out of here. This particular color is gunmetal shad. 
course, it tells you all the information here. This is the BDC-12 crankbait. And again, those hooks are sharp. And those are about as sharp as the Spros. I'm surprised. Spros, you know, are going to run you 10 bucks. These are $6 baits. Of course, you can see on that paint job there, you know, how faded that is. Didn't quite go through. There's your quality issue right there. Are fish going to notice that? No. Are fishermen going to notice that? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. But I mean, it, it's a very nice, well put together bait. It's not cheap. You can't see lines in it or anything or got put together. So I mean, for six bucks, as long as this thing runs true when I throw it in there, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. Very nice looking bait. But you got your rattles in there. Wow, that's a loud rattle. I don't know if that's gonna come through on the camera, but wow. There's a lot of rattle to it. You can see a very thin, thin design on the back here. You can see how narrow that is. I wonder how, how that's gonna affect the action of it. Huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed so far. So far, so good. So, we got one more boy ducket bait. This is just the, uh, your standard two to four feet. Um, square bill bait I'll pull out of there and this has the same pattern as uh, the Lucky Craft and a uh, Lucky Strike design you can get this almost the exact same color pattern out of those very small it's a lot smaller than your standard um, uh, let's say 1.5 your uh, striking 1.5 or anything like that so that's different it kind of, the, the very sharp lines on it kind of remind me of Sabeel baits. I mean, if you've ever seen a Sabeel, they have very sharp, pronounced lines on them, and this is kind of the same thing. Of course, your standard plastic bill here. The hooks, yep, they're pretty sharp. So, yeah, I'm really, really excited to try and get these out there and see how they work. Might be something to start throwing in the tackle box with everything else. But Moving on. So here we have another uh, Rapala DT-10. This, I think this one's Rasta. So this one dives to 10 feet. You can see the color here. I'm not gonna pull this one out, but again, bright colors for darker water that I fish in. And then we have one more of the DT-16, same color Rasta with a very, very, very dirty package there. But same color we just had, just dives to 16 feet. Moving on, we have net bait pack a chunk trailers. Uh, I think I've done a video on these before. I just don't have any black and blue flake for my black and blue jigs, so I ordered some of these. So I think I got two packages of these. Yep, two packages of those. These run you about two bucks, three bucks a piece. Not too bad. And then I got some colored and watermelon crawfish. Kind of give you a different color and i'll pull that out so you can see a little bit better everybody knows what black and blue flake looks like and here we have watermelon crawfish see that there it's kind of a red watermelon color in it so, and again if you never use these the actions on these claws are amazing i mean they're just whenever you pull that thing they're just flopping back and forth the whole time awesome action on these that's why i really like these as trailers Oh, that's that. Okay, next up, and these are actually what I've been catching most of my fish on here lately. Are these tiki wave worms? Uh, it's been pretty tough out fishing where I've been uh, fishing, and uh, the only thing that I've caught anything on are these tiki wave worms. Um, I went out one day, killed them, and ran out of my worms. The next day, I didn't catch anything. So I went out uh, yesterday actually, put on some old ones that were ruined and that's the only thing I caught my fish on that day. So I finally ordered some more and got them back in stock. Uh, I tried uh, the Yum Dingers, they didn't work the same. I tried actual Cinco's, they didn't work the same. So this is what they wanted. So that's what I paid money for. So again, I bought these in videos. These are really soft plastic, really, really, really nice quality on these. Um, the only reason I bought them in the first place is because they were on sale at Tackle Warehouse and now they're kind of my go-to uh, stick bait. Uh, this particular color is just chartreuse so I can get something real bright in the water to get them if it's dark or anything like that. 
say. This is the particular color I was catching them on that I ran out of. This particular color is uh, called Mardi Gras. Has kind of a purple greenish color. And let me tell you, these things are covered in crap. I don't know if you can see that on my hands there. But that's what's good about them. That, that scent and stuff that they're covered in, that's what makes them hang on and get them. So we got another package of Mardi Gras. There, our New Orleans, same thing. And then yet again, one more. I did not want to run out of those. These are actually on sale for two bucks or a dollar sixty. So I made sure I picked up plenty of them. So if uh, if that's what they're biting on, I have plenty of them to go with. So, and that does it for our tackle warehouse order. Except, of course, there it is, tackle warehouse sticker. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.